congratulations on the role. I think that's huge, um, especially because who you're playing is someone that you're actually related to. So, you know, that's I think you get a, a upper hand just by having that advantage already. Um, so I do kind of want to start with what's one of the most surprising things that you learned about him while filming this show? Whether learning more about BMF, you know, through your dad, what's the most surprising thing that you learned about him? Um, I feel like the whole thing was a learning experience just because I got to be him in his childhood and I had no idea how he grew up. Like nobody, none of us, unless you were there, knew how Detroit was in the 1980s. So it was very different for me you know, my life, because I was born in 2000, I went to private school. So it was different, you know, because I had to not put myself in his shoes. And, 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 and you know, I'm thinking about the problems and the, um, and the obstacles he faced back then. I put myself in his shoes. So it, it was much different, but it was fun. You know, I had to learn more about my dad. I got to talk to him and figure out, you know, different things I had never knew. While filming, is there something that sticks out to you that you just like, oh my God, I can't believe my dad did that? Like, is there one thing particular that you can uh, share with us that stands out? Um, it was a lot, but I feel like um, just how he handled things and a lot of different things. I can't remember one specific thing, but it was a lot of different things, you know, that I was about like damn you have to be smart as hell to do that at such a young age like you, you have to be only you know you have to be wise to do what he did at that young of an age and still be alive and not you know and you know because it's a lot of different it's a, it was a lot of different problems and, and obstacles back then just from being in detroit in the murder capital of the world yeah. and just from living out there you know it's terrible so it was just you know I got to learn a lot of different things about him that I never knew. And I actually got to do it and go to Detroit and actually spend time where he grew up at. Yeah. Anything he did in the 80s was crazy because it wasn't like our today's generation or today's era. So everything back then was different, the fashion, the music, everything. I do know that when your dad did end up going away, you were very young. Um, do you have any memories of just being with your dad or your uncle or being around BMF? And um, is there anything that you can remember specifically? There's a lot of different things. I remember being with my dad all the time. He was a cool dad. I didn't know what he was doing. I just know I had a fun, cool dad, you know, take me everywhere with him, drive me in all his cars, different houses, private jets. You know, I still remember a lot being with my dad. I was with him for, you know, a long time until he got locked up. I still remember being around him, my uncles and everybody. Was there ever like, um, as a young child, did you understand what was happening or did you just see like the cars and the money and stuff? And you just was like, okay, this is my life. Or did you ever question it? Like what, what's going on? And I just knew I had a lot of stuff. I didn't know about <laughs> what, I didn't understand what money really was. I was too, too young, you know, so mm -hmm. it wasn't that I knew who my dad was. I just knew I had a cool, fun dad. I had a lot of cars, a lot of houses. We used yeah. to go a lot of places. You know, I had no idea what he, you know what he was doing. I do want to ask you though, you know, being that 50 Cent has put the show together, um, I'm not exactly sure how much 50 Cent was involved in casting and whatnot, but what is your relationship like with 50 um, and your family's relationship with him? Um, 50 like my big brother, you know, my mentor, I talk to him almost every other day and we talk for hours, you know. He literally gives me all the game I need in the film business and anything I need. Because he's a genius, you know, everything he does touch, touches, turns to gold, anything he touches, you know, so I'm just happy and, you know, and, and blessed to even be by his side and even be, you know, one of his associates. He calls me all the time, just make sure I'm good, you know, like a, like a dad, he's like my, my other big brother slash dad, always check up on me, make sure I'm good, make sure I, I need something, make sure I don't need something, you know, so. He helped me every step of the way into my whole journey, you know, made sure I was in the classes, made sure I was doing it. He didn't baby me, but he made sure I was good, you know, he wanted to make sure I could do it on my own. That's why he respects me. I love that. And I feel like we all need somebody in our life like that in our corner, um, most definitely. With you playing the role of your dad, Big Meech, um, and you're a new uh, actor coming out, um, I think of roles like uh, Ghost, who plays in power, right? And I feel like when fans fall in love with the character, sometimes it's very hard for them to let go of that character when you decide to do something else. How do you plan to keep your own identity as Demetrius Flinnery Jr., you know, um, outside of playing this role when you do, you know, decide to start doing other roles? Like, how do you plan to keep your identity? And so people are just not looking at you as, oh, that's, you know, Lil Meech. How do you plan to keep your own identity? As uh, I have my own 
you know, just how my father has his own name, mm-hmm. you know, so when people see my versatility and my range and see I can do not just play my dad and not just play somebody I know, I can play, you know, somebody I'm not, somebody I, I'm, you know, I can, I'll never be, you know, so I can't wait for people just to see my range and, and how far I can go and, you know, yeah. I love that. What's one of your dream roles that you want to play? Uh, superhero. Was there anybody who was against you playing your dad? Like, is there anybody who said, I don't know if you should do that? Or was everybody supportive of your decision? I don't know. Everybody was supportive of my decision that I talked to, you know. It might have been people that I didn't know about that wasn't support, but anybody I know about, they were support. You know, since you've been on this show, the women have been going crazy. Everybody's after <laughs> Little Meech. What is the craziest, I guess, DM that you've gotten from a fan? Or what's the craziest thing that has happened so far as your stardom is getting bigger? So remember when I said, um, when T asked me in the last episode five, he was like, um, we, we, uh, we kidnapped Zoe. He's talking about we kidnapped Zoe. And I was like, we kidnapped that girl? You know, we, we fed her ice cream. Yeah. T- you know, I was like, um, but I say I was like, um, yeah, she, I was like, you know, it was a soft kidnap. If somebody, his girl had the enemy, was like, I want you to soft kidnap me. I said, wow, these people oh are crazy. <laughs> people that are crazy. crazy. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> but um, I, I do think that uh, you're an amazing actor. Um, like I said, and of course the ladies are going to love you. Um, I do want to, uh, say that I am proud of you and I do look forward to what you do next. Um, I guess, um, beyond BMF, what else can we expect from you? I know you do do music as well. Um, is there anything else that you can share with us that maybe we should look forward to when it comes to you? Euphoria, I'm doing a new TV show as in day. I just did it, filmed it a couple months ago. It's called Euphoria. That should be out in a few months. You guys will see soon. Sounds dope. Thank you so much for your time and thank you guys for waiting for me. Um, I'll be watching.